So let's get started on this. This is the paper we're gonna use, the Tula Norbert Sweet as Honey paper uh, and the ephemera pack. So I've got my birdhouse here and I've already painted it um, just to pretend that it's not painted. I'm gonna take some wire cutters and I'm gonna cut this little guy off because we're gonna replace it with something else. It's really soft wood, so I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna take some sandpaper. It's really gonna be, it's gonna be covered with the paper. I just wanna get it kinda smooth here. There we go, then you would just paint it. I would do two coats of everything um, because they're light colors. So I did two coats of the yellow and the uh, white. And I colored the very inside of this circle here with black. And I'll show you that later, why I did that, okay? So first we're gonna cut the paper for the, the roof. So I've got this already measured out here, about three and a half inches. And they the sides vary, so don't assume that both sides are gonna be exact. Then I've got my piece on the bottom, which is this floral. I'm gonna do a one and a half inches. And I need it to be 12 inches exactly. I need that whole width of that piece. So what's gonna happen? I'm gonna have my embellishment here. So here's a little trick. I'm gonna start my paper right here. Let me show you, because I technically I need a little more than 12 inches but it's not gonna go around. But I'm gonna put an embellishment there and that's gonna hide that gap right there. So we've got that one, it's kind of already folded. So I'm gonna put my glue on there, my Pioneer embellishment glue stick. Make sure you get enough on there and you get it to the very end. So I already kind of bent it, so it'll be a little easier. Put that flush with the bottom. You'll add a little extra glue here. A little more. And it's gonna cover up that hole right there, or where the peg was, I should say. Okay, there's that. And then next I have the two pieces for the roof. I'm gonna kinda see, make sure, let's see which one I want over there. I kinda like this one here. I'm gonna do it that way. Make sure you have it the right side up. And center it with your piece. That's good. there. There we go. This is staying pretty good. Okay, next. So what I could have done, I could have covered the whole thing with paper because I kind of did this first. This is the uh, honeycomb paper. 
and I cut out the little hexagon with the die, but I kind of liked, I wanted to use these stickers instead. So I didn't do this, but instead I'm gonna use these stacked tiles from Tim Holtz. You get 25 and there's five different sizes. So I picked a couple sizes. So I have them taped here with some washi tape. I have two, I'm gonna make my own little frame. Get my little die cutter here. And then it just pops right out. There's my frame. So a little extra one if I want to use that. Now it's so small, you can't really see the design on the paper. The reason why I painted the inside black is so when I put this on here, you're not gonna see that circular shape right there. So I'm gonna use this Tombow glue because I need a little extra heavy. There we go. I just want to make sure there's no yellow showing. Stay. I'm gonna have to put a little pressure there until it gets up, oh, until it sets up. There we go. No, not yet. <laughs> Now again, I wanted to use the stickers from this sheet here. So I've got my little frame and I'm gonna put, I think I like this guy here. And I kinda like it. I'm just gonna put him. Hmm. I think I kinda like this. So I'm just gonna match up that angle with this angle. Stick him right there. And maybe this guy right here. So I've got the two different, I've got a couple different colors of yellow here. I like that. And let's see, I think I like this one here. There we go. You shouldn't have to add any more adhesive to that. Okay, next, I've got one of the sheets in the collection is this pre-colored dye paper. And I'm gonna kinda see which one I wanna put on here. I kinda like him. But you get all these different versions of him. So I think I kinda like that one. So I'm gonna use him right there. So I'm just gonna cut that guy out. So I've got him right here. And this takes the die that goes with the stamp set. So I'm just gonna use this die to cut him out. And just get a little washi tape here. go through here and there we go there he is so he's my embellishment and see he's gonna cover up that space right there I'm gonna use some pop dots You didn't want to do this and you had this extra space in the back you could do that you just have to cut another piece that'll fit that you won't have to worry about that there we 
we go. But right here. Okay. Get my little sticker sheet. And I think I like him right here. I kind of like him here. I need some pops on here, but I think I'm gonna gonna do the opposite here. There we go. So next, I'm gonna go through the ephemera pack because there's a little saying in here I love. Ah, right there. Home is where my honey bee. That's the one I want. You know, this one I didn't pop. I'm just going to glue him on there. good so lastly we have got all sorts of clear knobs and that's why I cut this off because so I've got all these clear knobs um, which are really cool but this one stuck out because it's a hexagon and I thought that'd be really cool I'm just gonna take the hardware off and I got my e6000 here and it's gonna just go right here it's gonna Make sure there's enough on there. Right about there. I just gotta let that set up because now I can't move it upwards. And there it is.